so it is Christmas week. It's all happening right now. And so uh, it's finally actually feeling like it here in Tucson, even the winter coolness that's in the air in the mornings and all that. But as I, I begin today's devotional, I, I have a three-part series that lead us into Christmas Day. And uh, it's it's going to be real brief. I mean, obviously, I'm taking a little bit of time to introduce it, but it's going to be a three-part little thing that's going to kind of touch us um, on who Jesus is for us and what he is. And some of you that are on our Monday night Zoom Bible study know that these are some of the verses that we found in Hebrews chapter 2 that were uh, significant. They are significant. All of God's word is. But I want to read you just two verses out of that chapter. It's Hebrews chapter 2 and it's verse 14 and 17. So just so you know, I am just like selecting these two verses because they do tie together. There's other details in it if you read it on your own. But it's critically important for us to see this because what we want to see is that Jesus became human. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood, the Son also became flesh and blood. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Therefore it was necessary for him to be made in every respect like us, his brothers and sisters, so that he could be our merciful and faithful high priest before God. Then he could offer a sacrifice that would take away the sins of the people. <laughs> Man, that is such an awesome awesome thing right there as we listen to the word of god it's important for us to see that jesus christ god himself became human flesh and it is really critically important for us theologically our belief in god and who we are in christianity to understand that it was because he became flesh and blood human like you and i that he was able to offer the sacrifice that he himself god required for our sin and it was as a human being, fully man, that Jesus came and gave his life for us. And this Christmas season, that is what we are celebrating. The fact that Emmanuel, God with us, God became flesh and blood. So as we travel through these three parts, we want to see that he was and is human flesh. The next part will be that he is and was God himself. I hope you have an amazing day and share this incredible story of love with everyone you come in contact with. God bless you.